Hey guys, Reika again. So today I'm going to be doing another Kodokumi single review. And this is going to be on her earlier single, Kiseki. Um, I have this CD plus DVD version. So I will show this to you guys more thoroughly at the end. So let's go ahead and get started on that review. The first track that's on the single is, of course, the namesake, Kiseki. And that translates to Miracle. This song, I think, is... Probably not the best ballad that I've ever heard, but for her earlier works, I think this is a fantastic song. And the main reason that I do really love this song, though, is when it gets into that bridge part of the song. And you guys that have listened to this song, you know what I'm talking about, where she gets this incredible, breathtakingly high voice. And it's just extraordinary. It doesn't even sound like her. So the first time I heard it, I honestly didn't even like think about it or think that it was her until I saw the secret tour and she sings this song live and she actually hits that high note. So I was thrilled when I saw that. So awesome, awesome, beautiful live there. And so while the song isn't the best ballad that we've ever heard, it's still an incredible feat, I think, for Kotokumi because it really showcases the ability of her voice to be able to reach such an extreme pitch and tone. So absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So I do love this. The music video I thought was just okay. It was kind of interesting. I thought the um, her nails were insane when she's got... I guess she's, I don't know if she's supposed to be like a wolf, but she's got the fur around her and all the colors, the big feathers coming off of her head. Um, but her nails are like this long and it's pretty crazy looking, but she looks gorgeous and beautiful in it. And the message of this song is absolutely beautiful as well. So great, great song. Track two is Love Holic. This song is so cute and I just, I love it. Um, it's so happy and so easy going and just it's a cutesy song but again her voice is at a perfect range where it's not like overdone and kind of ridiculous one of her better songs that i actually really enjoy from her secret album but again this is just another additional track to the single of kiseki so really fun awesome track track three is life and this song never made it onto an album. It's one of the B-side tracks, but I actually really enjoy this song. The first time I heard it, this beginning part, I was kind of like, uh, not, not the most entertaining or interesting. But as soon as she starts singing, the song picks up. And my favorite parts are the chorus background, where it starts saying like, and something like that. I love this part. It just keeps the flow of the song going together very well and so I thought for the fact that it's not like a full on album track it was a really great addition to this single and it's just another upbeat song that kind of ties in well after you go from the slow kiseki to love holic and then a little bit more mellow but still upbeat and I just I really enjoy the song I think it's actually one of her better b-side tracks so awesome awesome addition. Track four is Kiseki, the instrumental version. And again, this song is still stunning, even without the lyrics. And like I've said before on my Moon album or single review, how you can just feel the emotion without even having to have her singing. And so it kind of gives you a different feel or a different viewpoint of the actual song itself. So I think it kind of dissects things better and helps you to feel some other things that she's trying to get across without the lyrics being in the way to kind of tell that story. Five is Love Holic Instrumental. And again, it's still just as upbeat as ever. And I honestly, I love the upbeat songs without the lyrics again. Like you don't even have to have those lyrics because even when I listen to it, just the melody, you can just hear her voice in your head singing the whole song. And so whether I'm listening to it with or without the lyrics, I still always hear her voice in my, in my head. Six is Life, the instrumental version as well. And so again, I love the singles for the fact that she includes these instrumentals. They just, they make the singles for me and they totally make it worth the buy because I just, I just adore them. I love listening to them when I don't really feel like listening to actual lyrics or I just want background noise. It's a great one because I can still focus without actually trying to listen to all the words. <laughs> and so another good one, great rhythm. And that's why I also 
appreciate just the fact that she always includes these because I get to get another aspect of those songs like I've said before and it just really ties in the emotion for me and to be able to appreciate the musical instruments themselves for the different types of compositions that they add into it. So that includes my single review of Kurokumi's single Kiseki, one of her earlier works. And all in all, I think it was a pretty awesome single. Like I said, Kiseki wasn't the best ballad I've ever heard, but for her earlier works, it was pretty awesome and really showcased that voice. Love Holic was a fun addition, as was Life was actually a really good B-side track that I thought on the instrumentals. Also, just a great addition. Um, I have the CD plus DVD version, and it included the music video on the DVD of Kiseki, so that was a great addition for me because I love I'm a I love collecting the DVD versions of Kotokumi's albums for the fact that she includes so many of the music videos and the making behind the scenes. I think that's awesome to kind of see what it's like behind the scenes with her, and plus I think she's hilarious. So <laughs> let me go ahead and show you guys my version. So this is the cover of the album. You can see that. She looks so little in this. And that's the back side. Even at a young age, she's still beautiful. This is the inside, the CD. So that's that side. And if you flip it over, of course we've got this DVD side. And that's the photo in the background. She looks so adorable there, super young. Our young Kuchan before she wore <laughs> super heavy makeup. Um, these are just the little advertisements that came in the album when I received it. Here is the booklet on the inside. It actually unfolds into this really large picture of her, which was, I think was awesome. So let me see if I can back it up. So that's the inside poster that all the lyrics fold out to. She looks absolutely gorgeous. I think this outfit looks beautiful on her. And her hair looks adorable. And then this is just has all the lyrics. If you look at it up close, it's got all of that information on there. But beautiful, beautiful poster. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Please comment below so I can know what your guys' thoughts are on that B-side track as well of life. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you have any other suggestions. Thanks for watching. See ya.